Okay, so somebody contacted me and was asking about the injectors, um, how you actually use the iCarsoft, what does it look like in the menus and just what's involved. And I thought I'd uh, go through that with you today and importantly show you that um, you have a little bit of information that you need to have ready before you start actually using this. I hope this is helpful for you. Alright, how you doing? Back once again with the Renegade Master, a little nod to the 90s. We got the iCar Soft today. It's injector time, and I'll show you what you need to do on a Mercedes SL. This is a 2004. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got my iCar Soft plugged in. I haven't got the engine on. You can turn it on if you want to, but I find it's generally always okay just to make sure that you've got all the lights on the dash. So just before you start and crank the engine, that's the status of that you need your dashboard to be in your car. Now I've got a touchless keyless entry in this particular Mercedes. So I press it once, it turns on some of the functions and I press the start button one more time, then all the lights are now on. And it's at this status that I then like to use the iCar Soft. Okay, so here's the main screen. And normally you would go into diagnostic, that's that one in the top hand corner. But on this occasion for the injectors, we want to go into the service menu. That's the one that's highlighted in the middle top. And here we've got various things. You've got your oil reset, electric parking brake. And at the bottom there is the one that we need to today, which is your injectors. And when you replace the injector, you may need to go into this menu in order to set it up. So move the thumb wheel down and select it. And it's at this point now that you select the vehicle. So obviously we're in a Mercedes today. Select that. This particular screen here is not the version of Mercedes, it's the actual software for Mercedes. I've downloaded three different types. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you go into, but generally the, the most uh, latest one. So the one that says V11.70, hit that. Now it's going to talk to the car and you need to select the vehicle. So I'm going to use the up arrow because SL is near the bottom of the alphabet. I'm going to select the vehicle. Now it's actually a 231, which is the slightly newer model to mine, but I'm going to select it anyway. Mine's a 230. And here you can see the different model of engine type. Um, I'm going to go into the 350. And it's the adjustment of injector quantity. Okay, so on this screen you can see that it's giving you a little caution there that the engine has to be off, that the ignition switch needs to be on. And the note at the bottom there is explaining what's going to happen. So the injector injection quantity adjustment must be performed when fuel injectors are replaced. For injector injection quantity adjustment use, and then it's going to go down to say, the adaptation values printed on the fuel injectors. So you need to have that information ready to hand and that will come with the manufacturer and the box. The five digit marks with a circle represent the adjustment value. So there you go, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm only a small little YouTuber and I very much appreciate it for the subscribes if you've done so. So thanks very much in advance for the thumbs up, etc. as well. Really appreciate it. Um, I like doing these sorts of videos. A lot of people are contacting me now with more and more questions on iCarsoft. So as they come in, I will try and do some more helpful videos just to give you um, a sort of close up, first at hand look on what's involved with using these if you're thinking about getting one. I'm not affiliated with this in any way. I just find it a really useful bit of uh, car diagnostic equipment. Um, and if you do like this sort of thing, have a little look at this video here. It shows you how you can go into the detailed diagnostics for a Mercedes. I've also done one just down the bottom there on a Range Rover as well. So until next time, appreciate you watching. Bye for now.